This video will show you how you can arrange a song with just a few clicks with Bandura. As a musician, you know that when you're composing, you start with a little melodic idea and maybe a possible chord sequence. But to transform your idea into a real song and see if it works, you need more than that. You need some good guitar licks, some keyboard accompaniment, some synth pads, maybe some brass fills, and, of course, a really good drum groove. Bandora can help with all of this. And I'm going to show you how you can use Bandora as a playground for testing your musical ideas, how to create accompaniments, and customize parts and styles, and bring your ideas to life. So, let's start with a melody. I made it easy for myself and downloaded the first Beatles single, Love Me Do, which is public domain in Europe, from a MIDI site and imported it into my notation program to clean it up, and then export the intro as a MIDI file. Now I switch over to Bandora and import the MIDI file I just created. The selected instrument is piano, but I need it to be harmonica, so with a double click on the instrument name, I can change the instrument. Ah, uh, that sounds better. Now let's try a chord progression. It's a simple song with just alternating G and C chords. Now let's loop playback for the first eight bars. And now for some accompaniment. And here's where the magic happens. I select the first bar and load a band style keeping the original tempo, and click the Create button. Not bad. Let's try another one. Let's hear what the bass player is doing. Cool, but maybe he could play some variations. Here you can see the underlying arranger engine at work. The accompaniment isn't simply selected from a collection. It's composed on the fly, adhering to the rules that you define in the style editor. Wouldn't it be cool if there was a break at the end of this 8-bar section? No problem. I select the last bar and change the band style to a fill. Cool. If I want to try out different fills, I can roll the dice a couple of times to find one I like. I could now experiment with different styles or change the composition rules for each band member for this style or change the instrumentation. Or I can even try out different chord progressions. Once I find an arrangement I like, I can export the whole thing into a MIDI file to continue working in a digital audio workstation or have a look at the resulting notation. Thanks for watching.